this fear of offense, this fear of confession, and then this fear of forgiveness. Those three spheres, those three circles are the same. Who did I offend? That's who I confess to, and that is who I seek forgiveness from. And you want to make sure. I think sometimes what happens is that a person, let's say a man sins against his wife, he says, will you forgive me? I forgive you. And he doesn't ask the Lord to forgive him. And you don't want to fall into the trap of just ticking boxes, going through biblical steps. Maybe you want to put biblical in quotation marks because it's not biblical. It has more to do with damage control. It has more to do with just getting through this, but it's not true heartbrokenness. It's not a desire to change. It's not truly understanding what you did to the other person and you're just cleaning up the mess quickly so you can move on to the game or move on to life or whatever's going on. And so you want to make sure that uh, you're doing full forgiveness here and not just cleaning up the mess with the individual that you sinned against on the human level, but you're also uh, asking God to forgive you as well. Or alternatively, where you ask God to forgive you, but you haven't gone to every person within the sphere of offense, that too would be wrong also. And so we want to make sure we're doing it the right way for the right motives.